Hi Q, season two, episode nine. Poor girls, but there's so much. Very fitting line there, yeah. Oh no. Make it stop. More refreshing hill sprints. Yeah, and she's been dealing with her trauma ever since. That one cut deep. They're just both working stuff out. It doesn't feel bad. It feels alright. It'll work out. Oh, look at Asahi mastering the jump serve. Yeah, turning point. There we go. It's paying off. I can't wait to see what it looks like with Suki all in. It's gonna be amazing. Still. This still. It'll pay off though. Daichi knows. Daichi is wise. In Daichi we trust. Whoops. This girl's such an empath. She just like takes everyone's pain in and is just dealing with it from the sidelines. You know what might help? Maybe a flag. Making them a, a nice flag. They seem to like that. Or <laughs> just discovering a flag in storage and unwrapping it. It's a big deal. That narration basically telling us where we are at this point in the training camp. It's been a lot of lows, a lot of obstacles, but since the beginning, my feeling has been optimistic that this is necessary. It's the rebuild of Karasuno. They're breaking the foundation so they can build the ceiling higher. Episode 9, Versus Umbrella. They're not the only ones improving. That's getting, getting great. Oh, damn. Yeah. How much abuse can they take? It's just loss after loss after loss. I see they all watched the same Suki episode. Now that's what it feels like, but it's not true. This is part of the process. Like I was saying about plateaus before, like I think a lot of the time going from one plateau to another feels like you're going backwards. But I think part of that is also realizing how much you don't know or realizing gaps in your ability. And also the fact that the better you get, the harder improvement becomes and it can catch you off guard how much effort it takes to improve because it never took that much effort before. But I mean, there's no, no question he's gotten better. You just need one or not now, not now, not at this point, but you just need one at some point. Yeah, yeah. But what worries me in these situations is that they're... Uh, you can condition yourself to expect failure. It can become a circle. A oh, spiral, downward spiral. Uh oh, they're talking at least. Set him straight, Daichi. Lay down the hammer. And that is not mad that he missed, he's just mad that Kageyama's not doing what he expects. Huh. That's so cute. I love it that Hinata's demanding excellence in a way that means him not hitting the ball. He doesn't want success, he wants success the right way. Yeah, it's basically what I was saying, that's what I'm worried about too. There's something about morale, the momentum of morale. <laughs> He's like cheering him on in the guise of a fight. He gets it. They're on the same page still, even in their feud. Trust him. Trust the process. Nice. He's gotta get the get it right, get the setup right. Well, he not just understood immediately. This kid has one speed running. There's like no reason for him to be sprinting right now. Leaving behind one rivalry for another. Yeah, he's got important games to be playing. And the three of them together is interesting. I love how this relationship has developed between the two teams. They almost feel like they're on the same team at this point. They're all practicing together. They have all these interconnected relationships. <laughs> Such a fanboy. <laughs> Things we can't do during the day, like more volleyball. Yeah, I saw that too. It was on the sign. Interesting callback. Oh, 
Hinata, only one, disappointed by food. Thinking about the direction of the second season so far, I think they did this really well. They handled a problem that I could have imagined where they were so great towards the end of season one. They had so much momentum. I personally felt like they were invincible and I was like so sure of a championship. So it's like, where where are the stakes? You know, they're definitely gonna win. Only for season two to start with so much character drama, but in a way that serves something really great. More than just them being good and continuing the journey and, you know, riding that high, but making huge sacrifices to get better, which I feel is right. It's accurate because growth is not a linear process. In fact, success itself contains a trap. If you get to a point where you're satisfied, you know, you're doing good enough to get good feelings, like you're winning games, for example, or winning enough games, it's easy to coast. Where does the motivation come from? But one of the cool things about the characters that I, I like and find inspiring is their absolute level of drive and dedication to what they're doing, which is going to mean breaking themselves and leaving behind the comfort of what they know. And so there are still stakes, you know, there's still stakes for this tournament, which I desperately want them to win, because aside from the fact that just generally speaking, I, I root for this team, this is absolutely 100% the last chance for the seniors, who I love. You're not excited about the prospect of getting up for refreshing hill sprints? One speed and everything. Getting closer, closing the point gap. Good news, everyone. Ah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's palpable. It's the hill sprint arc. I hope people are appreciating her for her, her work. She's putting in a lot of work in this camp, like overtime. This is all unpaid labor. <laughs> the sound effects are kind of great. Pet bottle is a it's not a bottle that you're trying to hit. Spike to eat that you know, you want to get the item of the show, and you can get 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 the Coach is just a fan, like, he just wants to see great volleyball. Right. right. Carson getting better brings up Nekomara too. It's one of those, the whole is greater than some of its parts type things. Not as someone anyone's gonna like having around if they like volleyball. Every time I see something like this, I'm, I just expect it to come up during the tournament. Versus umbrella. Lob. Tip? Whatever it was called. Learn that fast. <laughs> You're speaking his language. Oh, he pictures Hinata. He pictures so many Hinatas. <laughs> like no one else is on the team. There it is. It's gonna feel so great when they actually connect on this. That's what I'm saying. What was her mom saying about dedication? And every morning. This and every morning. Is it just me? Am I reading into it because of the Suki episodes? Or are even his insults nicer, more warm hearted? Who is this shady character? What? Is this some kind of weird, like, performance enhancer arc? Nah, no, I doubt it. I'm sure it's something good for the team. I need to see that again. Three wins, 61 losses. Damn. Also, that's a whole lot of games. They've done that hill sprint 61 times, so 62 times. Or this, diving drills. He's done so many of them. They're gonna be the best conditioned team though. Just physical stamina. 
偶然聞いた話だから黙っておくべきかと思ったんだが What? Yeah, what was it? What is coach doing? この練習試合全部終わったら監督たちの終わりです Aw, that's great. That's so wholesome. Why was that barbecue vendor so shady? でもさすがに疲れてきてるみたいだしお肉肉肉お時間肉合わせて肉肉お時間肉<laughs> well said. Thank you. 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 Yeah, it wasn't about hitting the ball. They need him to live up to that. <laughs> They're also good at observing where the other players are at. Penalties are my no gaskudagado. Saisho no ense kara kurabetara. Yeah, they're really good at big picture thinking too. Yeah, I want to see how Nishinoya's progress has developed. It would also be a huge moral victory, moral boost to get a win over the team that's dominating in these practice games. Do it for barbecue and also for, for ourselves. For, for victory. I feel like they're going to win this next match. That would be the most satisfying conclusion. I mean, it would be interesting if they didn't as well, because they would then like go into, I guess the tournament is next, right? Maybe. If not for some exhibition games. With that taste of uncertainty. But a win would be huge here, and I kind of want to see it happen. I want their progress to be rewarded. I want to see it cemented. They need that, that reinforcement loop. It's pretty well done how even though they're losing, as the coach pointed out, their losing feels different. It feels like their psychology has shifted as well. They're all watching each other. They're pretty finely tuned with where each of their players is at, and they're noticing. Things I like about this episode Suki smiling, finally. The friendship between the rival teams, and I think most of all the fact that even in fighting, even in their arguing, Hinata and Kagama are rooting for each other and, you know, demanding the best. In the end, what I think makes these characters great and what makes their success feel real and, and destined in a sense is their outlook. The extent to which they are fully, wholly committed to one goal, a good goal, which is, you know, themselves improving, without getting snagged on a bunch of common traps like pride, ego, fear of giving up what they know for what they could be. Since they're aiming for championships in the higher ranks, there's a lot of talent that abounds. And arguably, many of the players on the other teams are more talented than Karasuno, or certain members of Karasuno's team. But I think what separates them is they're so aerodynamic, so streamlined towards what they want that they get, you know, almost a superhuman boost towards their, their activities, their actions that make them rise to the next level.